What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty, back again with another video, and my lord, a third day, a third day of our boy DSP melting down, that's right, and of course, he decided that he wanted to place the blame and the focus on your boy Duty, that's right, Duty Streams is the problem, oh my, we got so much cope and salt yesterday, I love it, I love it, and of course he's trying to put a a uh, nice face on everything or a pretty a pretty picture on the disaster that his business is his career his life uh by trying to claim that everything came back to normal yesterday when he played fallout and street fighter and uh, i'm sorry folks that's just not the case because we saw the same pattern all over again but we'll get into it once that segment starts so let's see what phil had to say on the daily wrap Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Wednesday, the 5th of June, 2024. Uh, a good streaming day. Back to normal after yesterday, doing indies all day and essentially having really, uh, you know, low attendance and engagement and support. Today was the opposite. Today, we went back to the mainstream AAA games, and all went pretty well. Let's talk about that. So, first of all, on today's podcast, uh, you know, basically gave my final verdict on what's going on here with the indie games. Essentially, in a nutshell, I'm disappointed because I really like indie games. I would love to play more of them but they're just not working in the rotation. For now, we're done with Hades 2. We'll go back in the future. I am going to attempt to every once in a while, maybe once a week, play one of these games like Noita or Stardew Valley. However, with Crow Country, I'm going to continue playing it because it's a short game and I already bought it. Regardless if people show up or not, I'm still going to play it. I think it's a good game. By the way, notably, I, I want to tell you, I really appreciated that a lot of people left nice comments on the Crow Country videos saying that they're really enjoying the playthrough and actually being very positive about it. I appreciate that. Because again, on the stream, half the people were complaining they didn't like it because it looked like an old game and it left me scratching my head looks aren't everything the game's actually quite good if you like survival horror um in addition there was a lot of attempted trolling and stupidity on the stream this morning i took care of it i'm done with it now i'm not going to take that bait and instead we went into a nice fun chill fallout 4 stream and it was actually funny because while i was playing all right i gotta stop it here because of course phil did not take the bait uh-huh really phil you didn't take the bait you didn't take the bait really phil you did not spend three minutes ranting and raving about your boy duty you, you didn't do that? Am I imagining things? Actually, it was longer than three minutes. You didn't actually try to blame your problems on duty? You didn't actually stop your streams and say, uh, there are detractors out there that are blowing things up, that are making things worse than what they really are. How, how in the world am I doing that, Phil? All I'm doing is taking your clips and doing some commentary on it and posting what you had to say. Duty's not the one going around telling his viewers to fuck off. He's not calling them scumbags. He's not calling them assholes. No, that would be you, Phil. And because I don't appreciate you treating people this way and I call out your nonsense, that doesn't make me the problem, Phil. That still makes you the problem. You look like the fucking douchebag. You look like the asshole. And again, it just shows once again that the mask comes off and you're nothing but a filthy scumbag. And you're upset with me because why I highlight this shit? Get the fuck out of here. You need to look in the mirror, man. You need to look in the fucking mirror. You need to look and, and, and well, first of all, you need to look in the mirror and look at that dingy stained ass uh, yellow shirt that's supposed to be white and, and bleach it or get rid of it because that shit is, is scummy, homie. And then after you do that, you really need to reflect on, reflect on yourself in your life and see who the problem is. Is the problem duty or is the problem him yourself and brother the problems yourself by the way uh is it me or this dude is looking super fat i mean i'm not gonna fat shame or whatever but he looks like he's put on some serious weight recently but look at his face look at the snort sacks look at his nose i mean the man looks like he's put on like 30 pounds recently anyway that's beside the point let's keep going here folks playing fallout 4 morons kept coming to the stream to try to beat me into drama and I didn't say, I, you guys are nuts, you know? I'm playing, I'm having a good time. We had a really chill Fallout 4 stream today. Uh, what did we do? Well, tons of quests for the railroad. Um, That was the whole idea, was to try to get through all the railroad quest lines until you basically get to the end point of their quests, which I think we have arrived at now. Now it's that pivotal moment where you have to make the teleporter to get into the Institute to advance any real plot. Because we did all the missions for Brotherhood, we already did the missions now for Railroad, so now the only one left would be Minuteman, but we know what those are. Those are just going around making bases, which I don't want to do. Um, Or go to the Institute and do missions for the Institute, right? So... We're at that critical critical moment, but we also did a few other missions, including the best of three mission, which is a mission that has you going around reading Pit Boy data, and eventually you do a, a little mini boss fight at the end. You get a Tesla cannon, but it kind of sucks. I already had one, so I didn't really need it again. Um, the good development, I finally, 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 at the tail end 
of this railroad quest line, I maximized Kiri's affinity and I got her perk. Her perk is, it's so good. If you go down to like zero health, you don't die. You auto revive and get 100 health back once per day. Okay. Such a good perk, especially for me, because I'm a, a melee build where I might just lose all my health in one go to like an energy weapon or a missile or something. Uh, and this will save my butt basically. Um, so it's one of the best perks in the game for my build. That's why I wanted to get it. And then I immediately went and switched to Hancock. So now Hancock is my companion. And moving forward, uh, I'm going to be doing a few more missions around these different areas before we get to the main story. But overall, very chill stream, fun, great engagement interaction, great uh, attendance all day. Support was good. Everything was good. And that's what I mean. Like, why? Well, because it's Fallout 4. It's a big AAA game. People like chilling with me when I play these big Bethesda games. It works. <clears throat> for some reason, it works with the audience, while the indie games really do not. Um, But I was happy with how it went. Then tonight... Oh boy. Oh my lord. Okay, so let's let's focus and analyze what Phil had to say. So he's happy because support was great. He had nothing to complain about. Okay, and what were with some of the gripes that Phil had previously with indie games? That one person come in and support. Uh Game Tracker was uh propping up uh Hades 2, and then one other person would prop up uh country, grow country, right? And, and Phil doesn't like that. Phil doesn't like it when, when his dents tip wrong. Where there's not a, a, a varying, uh, you know, a varying pool of supporters. Phil, Phil, Phil gets pissed off because of that. That happened with Fog Out, Phil. You made $60 on that playthrough. You were at $14. You were at $14 till the last hour of the game. And all of a sudden, some anonymous dent came in and dropped a $36 tip and got you to 50 bucks. How is that any different from your other playthroughs, Phil? Did you have more viewers? Yeah. Why? Because people wanted to see you fucking explode because you've been a uh, you've been an asshole the last couple days. And of course, you 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 didn't fail to deliver. You you were a turd and a jerk on your podcast. And it extended into your, your your gameplay where detractors came in and people in your chat were talking about how much of an asshole you are. So how is Fall Gal any different than the other playthroughs? One person came in and supported, dropped the big tip, and that's all you got. You didn't get much super chats. You didn't get any memberships. So how is that any fucking different than Hades? I don't understand, Phil. I, I think what it is is just you trying to cope, and I think you finally realize, wait a minute, what am I doing here? Why am I why am I letting the mask fall off and letting people see the real me? I need to pull back. And the way he does that, of course, is he tries to be nice to his dents, and then he tries to paint a rosy picture like everything is great. You know how much he made yesterday? He made 90-something dollars yesterday, which for Phil is fucking garbage. And And normally... Normally, Phil would fucking complain about that. He would say, oh, support wasn't that great. I mean, it was meh. I mean, and, and it's funny because when we hear Street Fighter, when we when we hear talk about Street Fighter, he, he's actually going to fucking try his best to put a positive spin on it. But, you know, he can't help himself. He he, he goes with that. It was OK. And it wasn't OK. Uh, he got again. One dent came in and dropped a thirty dollar tip. And that was it. And then somebody else came in with a $5 tip and he walked away with 35 bucks. That's all he got. So again, Phil, how is that any different? How is Fall Gal and Street Fighter any different from Hades and your other playthrough? Again, Phil, you need to come to this acceptance. That's what it is, Phil. You need to come to this acceptance that you are propped up by five people in your chat. The essentially five dents support your channel. And what they do is they shuffle through daily uh, or, or weekly and one person supports and then once they're tapped out the next person once they once they have their disability check in hand they support you for a few days and so on and so on it, there's no fucking difference here it, it's always the same fucking thing which you feel and it's been the same thing for years and you need to come to this acceptance that that's how your existence is the problem with that Phil, and the main reason why Phil doesn't want to accept this is because he knows that once one or two of those dents go away his business model falls apart. So let's keep going. On the lane stream, it was Street Fighter 6 Blanca, where I focused on playing with Blanca without the input lag because I have this new setup now. And I'm going to be honest, I actually did worse, I feel, at least the first hour with Blanca than I think I did with anyone else. I actually legit feel like I did better with Honda, uh, Dalsim, Lily, and Zangief than I did with Blanca. And I think there's two reasons for that. Reason number one 
is because probably people have fought against Blanca more than those characters. You know, but other characters are kind of the oddballs, right? They're not the common characters. They're the low tier. So you probably almost never see them. While Blanca is mid, you know, mid to high, mid, maybe even low, uh, low top tier. So a lot of people have probably faced Blanca a lot and no better strategies against him. But I'm going to be honest. The other thing is I played poorly. I had bad execution. I was flubbing it, hitting the wrong buttons, doing the wrong things. And my timing was off. And the reason I think my timing is off because now, once again, I'm going to no input delay. When I used to have massive input delay and I had to do everything early and stuff, I don't have to do it anymore. <clears throat> so now I'm trying to do is like, oh, I did it way too early and it whiffed, right? However, by the second half of the night, I started to recover. And I would definitely say the second hour of gameplay is much, much better than the first where I actually got a bunch of wins and streaks and things like that. And I tried to implement a couple new strategies. The first is the forward fierce punch move with Blanca where he kind of does a body splash. It's a good counter hit move from mid-screen. And if it crumbles, you can actually do a follow-up, which I was trying to figure out what to do. And once I got it and once I didn't, so I got to try to practice that and see what do you do if you hit with it. But also, uh, I'm trying to implement his flip ball move more. If you don't know what I mean, it's the half circle back and two kicks. It's the OD version. The reason is they, sorry, indigestion. They buffed it. That's one of the things, one of the few things they buffed. They actually nerfed a bunch of Blanca stuff. But one of the few things they buffed is they made that Blanca ball better on hit. So basically it, it hits further forward and can catch the enemy and lead to a big combo. I actually did a few times. I used it tonight. I got giant damage. Like uh, seriously, how crazy is this? If you just get a random OD Blanca ball from anywhere on the screen, you can then do the OD flip into level three super and it does like 60% damage. At the beginning of the round, it's like, what? And I remember I was doing that when the game Shut first came out, up. but then a lot of people stopped doing it. Either, but now they made the flip more reliable. So it actually makes sense to do it again. Out. So I was like, whoa, that's really crazy good. And I was trying to do better stuff. I'm learning. I actually think that sadly the knee strategy I was doing, this forward medium kick, isn't as good as I thought it was because a lot of people seem to be stuffing it after the fact. But I, like I said, my problem is I, I have bad execution. I need to play more with Blanca right now. I know my execution is poor. And I'm running into things like Aki tonight. Aki kicked my ass. I think Aki is one of the most improved characters that since this balance patch. I haven't even read her patch notes yet. But she's got like way better stuff than she used to have. And she's locking me down and tricking me. And I'm like, shit, what do I do here? She's fast. She seems faster. She seems to have better priority. Like, man, I don't know. So, anyway, I had a good time tonight. Overall, great stream. Support was decent. It wasn't amazing, but it also wasn't horrible. And, uh, you know, people showed up. People. There you go, folks. That's it. That's what I was waiting for. Uh, Phil can't help himself. Even, even trying to cope and make it seem... Trying to prove his point. Because that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to prove his point that he's correct. That the indie games are the problem, and it's not him. When he plays Fall Gal and Street Fighter, people come out in droves and support. No, Phil, you made $35. And yet, a fucking gen, Phil. One dent came in and dropped a $30 tip. One dent dropped a $30 tip, and you walked away with $35, Phil. No fucking different than Fall Gal. No different than Hades. No different than any fucking playthrough you've been doing for fucking months, Phil. But again, you know, Phil, he, he has to fucking live in this delusional fucking world that he did nothing wrong and he does everything fucking correct. And the funny thing is, is I love when he sits here and he tries to fucking make fool people into thinking, I'm a changed man. Yeah, I'm a flawed human. I screw up. I do stupid things. But I'm, I'm a changed man. No, the fuck you're not, Phil. You're that same fucking douchebag from 16 years ago. You're an asshole. You're a jerk. You treat people like shit. You feel entitled. All of those things that they've that that all of those adjectives have been as described to you throughout these years are fucking true and none of them have fucking changed you've done none of them to fucking and the ones that you tried to change right that you tried to change you didn't do that because you wanted to you did it because you didn't want to get in fucking trouble for example the racism the sexism the homophobicism you don't put that shit anymore because you know that if you try that shit on youtube you're gonna get departnered and any other fucking platform you're in so you didn't change because you wanted to be a better person. You wanted to change so that you wouldn't fuck up your money. That that's why you change, and that's not true change, Phil. When a person says that they change, or they change in their heart. No, you, you didn't change in your fucking heart, Phil. You changed in your pockets because you realized that the nonsense you were doing isn't fucking acceptable anymore. But again, occasionally the mask will fucking fall off. Let's not forget, folks, the slave trade joke from a year and a half ago had a good time watching me play street fighter so good stuff okay now quick reminder i'm not here tomorrow because it's my day off but when i come back on friday it's a weird day because it's summer game fest and yes i am live reacting to summer game fest this year so here's how it's gonna go when i come back on friday we will have a level one podcast at the usual time in the morning here on dsp gaming but it's gonna be short i'm gonna try to do like a half an hour podcast where i just basically fills day off schedule update any quick news or addendums and then we're done no time for q a or anything like that because then i want to do a little bit of fallout gameplay okay maybe like let's say we finish the podcast by 
11 45 12 then we can play for like an hour to an hour and a half of fallout 4 then what we're going to do is end the stream around 1 30 p.m ish we're going to switch over to dsp reacts and on dsp reacts is going to be the stream where i react live to summer game fest so everyone will go over there live react for about two hours or so however long it is when it's done then i'm going to do what's called a recap reactions video it's going to be live streamed, but it's where I basically summarize everything we just saw and I give my opinions on each thing, if I like it or didn't like it or whatever. That means that stream, stream will run late. Usually my streams end at 4 p.m. This one's going to run after that. So my wife and I got to figure out what we're going to have that day for dinner because it got to be something quick or something I can warm up because I'm going to be late, basically. Um, and then Friday night, Friday night fight, Street Fighter 6. Sadly, I cannot 100% confirm whether or not I'm going to be doing the lobby with Brian, uh, top tier rated or not. Uh, it's on the fence right now. So if he's available and can do it, then we're going to do it that night and we're going to have the microphone where we're going to voice communicate and we're going to have some fun. If it doesn't happen, don't worry. Friday Night Fight still goes down. I'm going to go back to Akuma for the first time in two weeks. I'm going to take Akuma online now with no input delay. I'm going to try to absorb some knowledge from watching videos. I'm going to see what I can... All righty. This was the last piece I was waiting for. Now, if you were on my stream or watched my stream yesterday, uh, I told you guys that I had a little surprise uh, for Friday's stream. And this is kind of... This is kind of it right here, folks. So if you guys watch any of my content, you know that uh, I've I've mentioned that I've had conversations with DSP's new friend, Brian. <laughs> and just to let you know, folks, it's not going well for our boy, Brian. He's been getting a lot of um, he's been getting a lot of comments and a lot of uh, viewership. And it's not always the greatest viewership. Uh, and his channel, sadly, on Twitch is suffering a little bit, I believe. And I think um I think I think he realized that that being near the near near being excuse me being associated and being near DSP is a problem for him. Uh, so I think what he's doing is he's trying to uh, extract himself from the vortex without hurting our boy Phil. Uh, so stay tuned. I'm pretty sure co-op streams won't happen on Friday, and uh, uh, probably won't ever happen again. So uh, just to let you know, duty said it first. <laughs> Your boy Duty dropped that news yesterday, so uh, uh, stay tuned to your boy Duty. He'll continue providing uh, the providing the updates as he gets them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.